You know, most of these strategies that we're talking about all are based solely on the breeding yep. situation. You know, calling that bird in, getting him to come into decoys and things like that. But most states now allow fall hunting. You know, check with your local state regulations to make sure you know all the rules and ins and outs about it. But fall hunting can be a fun time to get out there and do something completely different when it comes to turkey hunting. These birds, they're not strutting and coming into the calls for breeding. You know, they're just kind of doing more of their basic day-to-day -day behavior. So what kind of situations you know, and strategies could you use when it comes to fall turkey hunting? Yeah, so understanding turkey behavior, like we said, we've been focused on the spring behavior, but we also touched on pecking order and grouping and all that kind of stuff, you know, leading into winter. So a lot of times during the fall, birds are regrouping and so both genders, either sex, hens and um, toms and jakes are starting to remingle per se and they're coming back together. So one of the most common strategies that you hear about for fall hunting is breaking the group, you know, getting them to scatter. I've even heard of strategies. I have not tried the strategy myself, but I've heard of strategies where you might have two guys on a four wheeler even. And again, you gotta check your regulations on how you can go about doing this. But I've heard of the four wheeler breaking up the herd, breaking up the flock, I mean, and dropping the hunter off and then turn around and leave in the field. And they say that, you know, when you, once you do that, those birds want to regroup. They want to get back together. So you hear a lot of different calling in the fall. You hear the kiki call, you know, getting, mm -hmm. getting birds saying, hey, I'm here, I'm lost, where are you guys at? They want to get back with their buddies during that time. Yeah, exactly. And some people even use dogs, you know. Yeah. Again, you got to check with your state, make sure that it's legal. But some people have dogs trained to rush in and bust that group up. And then they come in, set back in that area, and try and call those birds back together. So that's the key point, right? They're hunting that same spot where the flock mm -hmm. was at. Exactly. Yep, correct. Another way you can do it too would be you go out at night and you watch the birds fly up to roost and let it get dark, let it get solid pitch black and go in underneath the roost tree. Again, make sure you're not messing up somebody else's hunt, but you can go underneath that roost tree and make a bunch of noise. Those birds will fly 10 different directions. Come back in the morning, set up in that same area and be ready to call them back in. Yeah, another thing that I haven't heard many hunters talk about ever, actually, when it comes to fall turkey hunting, but we have situations in video where we have trail cams out, and in the fall, they're like you said, they're all grouped up, but we found one natural spring. Mm -hmm. They still need water in the fall, and we have video of birds that they know the water's there, they're committed, and they come trotting in, they're excited to get to that water source. So if you find a place like that, a little honey hole, you can imply that as your fall strategy too. Yeah, so ambush hunting basically. Correct, yep. Yeah, so all the things we talked about with the spring version of ambush hunting works the exact same way in the fall. Use that knowledge that you've gained, set up, and wait for them to come in. Uh, blind decoys can work. You know, they're not gonna come in ready to fight quite as much as they would, but you know, if you've got three or four hens out, uh, and there's a group of birds that are hitting the field, mm -hmm. there's a good chance that they may work their way over and be able to come in. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, so fall hunting can be a great time to be out in the woods, a you know, cool opportunity to be able to experience more turkey hunting, learn more about them, and you'll learn a lot of stuff being out during the fall that you can put to use during the spring. Right. So check with your state regulations, make sure that it's legal for you to hunt during the fall, and there's a lot of states that allow you to hunt for toms, jakes, and hens, regardless of if they have a beard or not. So if you're looking for a hen for a mount or something like that, you know, it might be something you can consider. So yeah. that's fall hunting, and it's definitely worth looking into. Right.